EDP-445, I think that we've all heard that name at least one time in our lives here on the internet. For a little bit of background, he's pretty much just the black version of Boogie2988's character Francis. Except the only difference between EDP-445 and Francis is one of them plays a character as an incel and one of them actually is. EDP-445 has had quite the fall from grace actually. It seems like a lot of his fans are turning on him because of the way that he's been acting recently. Whether that is how he pretty much dissed Dak Prescott for getting injured whenever Dak Prescott has pretty much an injury that could completely change his life. Hey, Dak Prescott, how's it feel to get your s*** fucked up, my or the way that EDP-445 has responded to his allegations made against him, pretty much quote-unquote saying that they are just a joke. <sighs> Listen, motherfucker, alright? If you honestly believe that I would throw my f***ing life away, right, for a bitch that doesn't even f***ing have hair on her f***ing pussy, for a bitch that probably doesn't even know her f***ing ABCs, for a f***ing bitch that can't even count to f***ing 100, for a f***ing that needs to have her fucking nose up in the textbooks. If you honestly believe that I'm a motherfucking pedophile, you're fucking high. And I see this one chick, right? Hispanic chick, right? I mean, this got some big ass motherfucking titties, my. You know what I mean? I mean, titties are all bolstered the fuck out. You know what I mean? Skinny fucking jeans and God skin tight ass fucking jeans. I mean, motherfucking halter top is so god tight. It's damn near fucking forcing the fucking right teddy of my nigga to spill out upon some fucking hanging with Mr. Droopy D ass fucking shit, right? I mean, the titties is just fucking out there, right? And then later on, <sighs> come to find out, this fucking bitch was 15 years old. Yeah, both of those situations do not really look too good for EDP445, obviously. And a YouTuber who goes by the name of Cold Raven, I'll leave his link in the description. He's been taking a pretty good care of all of these accusations that are being made against EDP. Instead of addressing Cold Raven like a man, instead of really trying to clear his name like a man, really saying how it is, he just threatens Cold Raven with violence. And when Cold Raven calls him out and says, he'd love to have a fight with him. This is what EDP says. <laughs> I'm trying to see how many subscribers this piece of shit has. Let's see here. Um, I don't know how many subscribers he got. I can't see it. Mm. I don't know. Bruh, check it out, man. I got over 2 million subscribers, dude. And I'm not even trying to talk or toot my own horn. Man, you think I'd give a about some ugly ass a vote for Pedro that ain't about I got to do my feel me? Fuck that piece of shit. If that bitch ass nigga Cold Raven got something to say, my nigga, he can come to my house and say it to my face. Surprise, surprise. Eat that underage pussy backed out the fight against me. Yeah, I know. Of course, everybody expected this shit to happen. He backed out a fight against Rico, backed out a fight in the one Gillette Stadium, backed out a fight against so many people. It's like the fifth or sixth one he's backed out of. Again, you let your mouth write checks that your ass can't cash. You're so the internet wannabe gangster EDP is not even ready to fight someone, even though he is offering that he would be okay with fighting him. I mean, this is just pathetic. The way that EDP is handling this is he's calling everyone that is calling him out a hater. He's saying things like, oh, I have more money than you. I have more subscribers than you. So you're just hating on me because of my fame. Actually, that's not it at all. I think he's one of the funnier guys on YouTube, but to see him go down this path is embarrassing. I would say his response to the allegations is worse than many lads. It's one of the worst responses to allegations I've seen in my life. Saying it's just a prank, bro, is not really a good response to allegations where there is a screen recording pretty much proving that this guy did it.
So what is this, man? Come on, ED pedal 445. I thought you said you're not a pedal, right? Okay, so why'd you text five underage girls? Why'd you fall for this decoy account? Why'd you fall for it? That's you, right? Let's click on your name. Oh, you have me blocked. Why do you have me blocked, ED pedal? Why do you have me blocked? This is you, right? That's your username. That's your face, right? But you want to cry and complain when people call you a fucking pedophile, right? Uh, well, if you want, help me come next time I'm jerking off. You are a sick-ass motherfucker. See, exact same messages I showed y'all yesterday. Just, uh, the decoy sent me it so I can go through the account. Th this shit ain't fake, man. Again, you texted five underage girls and you fell for the decoy. You fell for it. You fucking fell for the decoy. And we don't even really need any further proof since he did say that he did do it, but it was just a joke. Don't worry, guys. It was just a simple, you know, playful joke. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't really think that someone that is talking to a minor in that way should be just excused as it's just a joke. Not only that, but now EDP has been exposed for talking to a bunch of other underage girls, especially a decoy account that Cold Raven set up on him. And he has now now disabled his comments on his Instagram so that people cannot call him out on Instagram. And one time on EDP's live stream, he got called out and was being called edp which is a word that people are now calling him quite a bit, and I mean rightfully so. And instead of addressing the allegations, instead of coming out and saying, hey, I didn't do this and this is my proof, he said, oh, I'm done, I'm not live streaming for the rest of the day. Like, really, bro? That's pathetic in my opinion. But now I'm gonna have a fellow YouTuber named Nguyen go ahead and hop on the video with me and he's gonna go ahead and talk about his Dak Prescott video so make sure you're subbed to Nguyen at the end of this video. So EDP 445 has really hit rock bottom and besides these allegations that have been going around he's really just a shitty person in general. So if you watch the NFL you probably know who Dak Prescott is and recently he suffered a right ankle fracture and dislocation. It was a very serious injury and you know what EDP decides to do? Well yeah he decides to make a video called Fuck Dak Prescott. Scott. Dad Prescott, how's it feel to get your shit fucked up? Now I'm gonna play a video from four to five years ago. For the entire f season with a broken clavicle, stupid motherfucking Eagles fans at the goddamn bar. Oh yeah, Tony Romo, I'm happy for his injury. What piece of motherfucking person gets happy when somebody gets injured? Yeah, this man has completely changed. EDP has also threatened multiple people online. He's threatened to fight YouTubers that live like miles away from him. He even threatened to fight a YouTuber by the name of Cold Raven, but now he's backing out. He's being a bitch about it. And EDP carries around this big tough guy persona. And in reality, he's just a bitch. And as you can see, his ego is just through the roof. And this is really just a disrespectful ass video. And yeah, no wonder why the like to dislike ratio is absolute shit. And yeah, this man has really changed. He's not really a football channel anymore. And when he does upload football, it's literally a shitty ass take. It's usually just F this guy and F that guy. He's a bitch. And then he also does videos on I took a mean ass shit in Chipotle or I nutted up on the floor. That's pretty much it. And he also does politics. And let's just say EDP might have to change his name to EDP to 445. And yeah, we'll see how long it takes for him to respond. So yeah, I've been in Gween. Thanks to Thieven for having me on the channel and I'm out. Peace. So yeah, at the end of the day, as you can tell, EDP has fallen from grace and he has quite the dark side. Obviously, a lot of people don't know about this and a lot of his fans actually seem to think that he is still innocent no matter what. That's actually why I wanted to make this video because I think that it's pretty ridiculous that people still think that he is innocent and they told me to provide more proof, so here it is. Now, if you don't see the dark side of EDP, you're just blatantly ignoring it and I mean, if that's what you want to do, go ahead but that's not what I'm gonna do and I honestly can't watch his content anymore literally every single comment that I got from my TikTok video that I made about it was just yeah EDP's not a pedo or they were saying I don't care he's still awesome like that's kind of ridiculous to continue to support someone like EDP even though he's done so much wrong in his life anyway guys I'm gonna wrap up the video there if you didn't know this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe turn on those post notifications and check out all my other outlets in the description below and make sure to sub to Nguyen as well all of our links are going to be in the description below i would really appreciate it and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and peace